So far, the track of the storm and the future forecast track of the storm keeps it away from major land areas, and that is certainly good news because this has been up to Category 5, powerful hurricane out in the Atlantic. Last night when we were talking to you, the winds were up to 160 miles an hour. 24 hours later, down to 115, so it rapidly intensified and then rapidly weakened because of wind shear on the west side of the storm, kind of tearing it apart a little bit, so the winds have come down to category three. That's still a powerful major hurricane, but not uh, quite as strong as it was this time last night. The forecast track still keeps it north of the Caribbean. Here's the Caribbean down here. There's San Juan, Puerto Rico, St. Martin, and this system is staying north of them. Look at like it's probably going to get back to category four status early next week and then start to make that critical turn to the north. It does look like the atmospheric conditions are going to be favorable for a little channel for it to move up between Bermuda and the east coast of the United States. It's going to be a close call for Bermuda next week as this powerful system brushes past their area and maybe even impacts parts of northern New England or eastern Canada. But for now, it looks like that turn to the north will protect us here in the eastern United States from powerful Hurricane Lee.